News, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Remember, guys, to like, share, comment, and follow. Today is the 15th of uh, July at 2022. And uh, so, uh, here's the latest latest breaking news Zimbabwe's uh, state security operatives reportedly seized a large shipment of weapons at West Nicholson, Matebele, South Province. The state security operative says uh, they intercepted three trucks, company name withheld, carrying six containers some of which had AK-47 rifles, rocket launchers, grenades and other explosives hidden under tiles. The authorities said they were not in a position to review the owners of the containers or the intended destination in Zimbabwe, but they said the discovery has increased fears of possible violence during next year's elections. State security agents says they are still sifting through the weapons to determine all the types and quantities According to the agents, the type and the quantity of weapons might prove the existence of a large militia group planning a major offensive. Only a small part of the arsenal was shown to the media, but it was enough to worry security experts. They identified the artillery rockets as Noriko rockets, a type used by the Taliban in Afghanistan, suitable for high intensive warfare. Official sources are told the Daily Monitor that the shipment is suspected to have originated from Europe. However, security officials told journalists the authorities were still establishing the exact origin of the weapons at their intended destination. Police spokesperson Assistant Commissioner Ponyati is quoted as saying, At this point, the only thing we can say is that we have some weapons we have intercepted. Let's not jump to conclusions. Officials told the Daily Monitor that there had been some arrest but gave no further details. Security has been stepped up in Zimbabwe as the country gears towards the 2023 harmonized elections. In some alerted uh, reports, a founding member of the Movement for Democratic Change Alliance, Mr. Gabriel Chaiva, recently claimed that the opposition citizens' coalition for change triple C had re-established an armed paramilitary wing within its ranks, which is recruiting and arming militias the target of having trained 7,000 people by 2023. The C denies the reports and dismisses them as a ploy by the government to justify the victimization of the party's supporters. And so guys, that's the latest here. You can see the intercept and the West Nicholson, Matebele in South Province. And two more truck and gun is rumble and a gun in my grenade and gun a putty a hand and my bomb and shanty square in the Mataliban of Afghanistan who do our intercept can us and so we're gonna keep you guys in the loop regarding to any new information and it's like a not about the Zuku Baku piece you're gonna copy guns in the journey a panel chabuda so which means that uh, it's a uh, very 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 uh, serious situation sooner or later chat on what he uh so much about to his fingers with his army kind of business with his anani and what was the real plan for, with these weapons maybe a uh, uh, Jombo Jong is for the Gwenda Mozambique, Kunema Militia, Rico, no one knows, but Jones is a panel Zombo Zabatwa. I don't know how true the story is. And so, this is a uh, daily news breaking news, uh, breaking news on Prince Millen the Semi TV. Inya, and I want to extend it up on social media at the moment. Inya, Yabuda Mu, a daily monitor. I don't know how true this story is, but Jones is a panel Zombo Interceptor. West Nicholson and uh, is uh, in Matabele in South Province. So we beg for to get any new info. This is a daily news, uh, everyday news on Prince Miller in the Temi TV. Remember, guys, to like, share, comment, and follow. Follow us everywhere Instagram, Facebook, and also on our Facebook group, which is a Prince Miller in the Temi TV. Bless up.